Hello everyone, uh, Joel A. Erickson and Brandon Marcello here and uh, going back to a video we did earlier, I was all excited because I thought I'd called the secondary. <laughs> yeah. And uh, half two weeks into practice, all of that stuff, all that's blown up. Everything's blown up. Uh, we'll start at boundary safety. Yes, boundary Let's safety. Derek Moncrief uh, is now behind Rudy Ford after a couple of, after miss, having to miss a couple of practices due to illness. Uh, Charlie Harbison has said, uh, by the time you're watching this, I'll have written on it, but Charlie Harbison has said that he wants to play more guys. He doesn't want to have, have it be like last year. Yeah. Uh, so Moncrief will still play, but for the moment, Rudy Ford ahead. Uh, field safety is remarkably free of controversy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Jermaine Whitehead's pretty much solidified that spot, and uh, he's staying healthy, which seems to be a rarity on defense these days. <laughs> and uh, then at corner... Uh, Jonathan Mincy is yeah. back at boundary corner. Back there. Uh, Josh Holsey's had a little trouble. Uh, the two best cover corners right now are Mincy and Jonathan Jones. Yeah. So those two are gonna. Those two right now are the starters. But Mincy's not gonna start the opener against Arkansas because so Holsey will start. So it'll end up being Holsey and Jones. But that is interesting that they have moved him over there because Holsey isn't quite up to speed yet. <laughs> And some of that may be some of that may be that in a lot of their sub packages he goes back and plays safety, safety and plays yeah. the dime. So he might not be getting as many reps at corner as some of the other guys. To fix that field spot, they've moved Trevon Reed Trevon over Reed. to the field spot. They feel good about those four guys. Uh, I'd expect all of them to play, especially with that dime package. Uh, Holsey's probably always going to be the dime back. Uh, but a lot of shuffling around in the secondary. Uh, one thing, one thing. That's we just mentioned seven guys. Uh, who have a chance to play. It's a lot more than they had at the end of last season. They got a lot of depth. They at least have that. Mm -hmm. Especially, I think, at safety, where last year it was, uh, please don't get injured because we have no one behind you. Corners were moved twice last so, year. So Josh Holsey is a guy that we have talked about plenty, that he is fit for that boundary spot. He's big. He's physical. So when you hear about the moves, you're like, it doesn't like make like a lot of sense from a physical standpoint, especially when they're going to be playing against a team like Arkansas, where you would think they'd be playing the box more. They need to be going after the run a little bit more, and you need some physical guys can wrap up and tackle. But like you said in an earlier video, we said injuries. All these injuries seem so familiar to last year. All this moving around seems a little bit familiar to last year too. Yeah, there was a little bit of moving around that kind of all settled back yeah. almost into what we expected. I get the feeling it's going to be like a rubber band. They're doing all this, and it's going to just go back to where it was. A lot of these moves probably will not stick, but we'll find out. Moral of the story, it's training camp, <laughs> and things are always changing. Auburn goes into Arkansas prep next week, so then things will have to be set. Ish. AL.com.